Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, let's talk about the current in-game medieval nuclear weapons that have been terrorizing the waters and shorelines alike in Age of Empires 4. Of course, I'm talking about the demo ships, let's dive right in. Alright, as usual, let's begin with the stats. The demo ship, or its identical variants under different names, costs 160 wood and 80 gold to build, has 200 HP, no armor whatsoever, 300 base fire damage, 200 bonus damage against warships, 2 tile blast range, and 1.5 tiles per second movement speed. Practically speaking, this means that the demo ships are faster than every other military ship in the game, and is on par with the fishing, trade, and transport ships. In other words, demos, of course, need to be faster than military ships to be able to catch up to them in order to detonate within the blast radius. If you do get the additional sales technology, then the demo's movement speed jump to 1.72 tiles per second. And since the added movement speed is percentage based, you'll always be even marginally faster against every other military ship when both you and your opponent research the same technology. Apart from that, you can also get ship rights to decrease the cost of the demos, armored hull to add 2 pierce armor even though it doesn't specify it as such on the tooltip, navigator lookout to increase the line of sight as the increased range doesn't work here, and of course, explosives, but we'll get to that infamous technology in a bit. Now, there are two ways to look at demos. One is purely on water against other ships, and one against land units and buildings. Unfortunately, since the demos are awfully bugged in the current patch, I'll cover what the issue is currently with them, but primarily analyze their intended stats so this video is useful after they are fixed as well. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's look into the demo's damage mechanics, blast radius, and current bugs before we get into the test so you know what's going on behind the scenes. As mentioned before, the demo ships should normally detonate once and apply 300 damage to units and buildings alike around it, but that's not the case right now. The bug is fairly straightforward. It seems that the demo ships detonate twice for some reason, and you can hear the detonation twice as well, so it deals a second wave of damage very shortly after the first explosion. You will also realize that, for some reason, the range is also roughly doubled to 4 tiles instead of the intended 2. This means that each demo will do double the damage at double the blast radius. To make matters worse, the explosives technology further breaks the demos. At an improved 420 base damage, the demos detonate twice to deal 840. 40 damage and get this the tile range seems to double again for some reason and that's why you'll see a ridiculous radius around it the damage dealt is also not entirely consistent with a few units or buildings having more hp than others for some reason i tried to test this bugged damage a few times but i couldn't really find a trend around it Unfortunately, there is no way for me to test their intended damage and blast radius properly in the current patch. Once they do fix it, I'll make a quick update video on how the damage is distributed on the demo's blast radius. Until then, we'll stick with the theoretical numbers. So yeah, the demos are just bugged to hell, and the explosives technology is pouring oil to the fire. Of course, the 200 bonus damage against warships also doubles, so they do more than 1000 damage to them indeed. Hence, there's no point analyzing demos in the current patch, as we all know they're exploited anyway, and they're a part of the reason why water maps are currently being dodged. Here are a few example clips from some popular streamers to prove the point. What the fuck just happened? They all detonated! Oh, so scary! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I have a song about this. <laughs> Alright, now that we know what the bugs are, let's put those aside and try to analyze the demos without their bugs. Exactly how good are they? How many ships do you need to hit before they are worth it? Are they overpowered even without the bugs? Well, let's answer all those questions. Let's start with the fishing ships. Just a quick reminder again that I will be using the proper values, even though you'll see the double explosion in all the footage. Hence, just trust the numbers and the graphics I'm showing you on the screen. Let me quickly explain the numbers you see on the screen for the first one, and let's take the fishing boat as an example. The first resources number you see on the top left is the total resources required to build the corresponding ship. In our case, you need a total of 75 resources to build a fishing ship. Total HP is rather straightforward, which is the HP of the unit, and in our case, the fishing boat has 125 HP. The HP damage number is the percentage of damage dealt to the unit's HP from a direct demo ship explosion. Since a demo ship's base damage far exceeds the fishing boat's HP, I cap the number at 100%, indicating that one direct hit destroys the ship. And finally, the resources damage number is the total resources damaged on the enemy ship based on its missing HP, resulting from one direct demo ship explosion. Since the fishing boat is fully destroyed in one hit, you'll see the full 75 resources indicated here. 
Taking all of the numbers above into consideration, I've calculated the value you get from detonating one of your demo ships in exchange of hitting one or more of the same type of unit. This is calculated based on the damage output per resource you spend on building a demo ship. As you can see, using a demo ship to destroy fishing boats is not worth it until you get at least four direct hits, as three fishing boats is barely not worth it. That said, these numbers are purely mathematical and resource based, so obviously use your judgment with the knowledge you gain from these numbers based on different matchups game positions, water control, and so on. Arguably, using a demo on 4 fishing boats in the late game is probably also not even worth it at that stage of the game, when you can make use of that demo ship elsewhere, so make sure you use your game sense as well. Alright, now that we know how to interpret these numbers and how awful it is to use demo ships against fishing boats, let's jump into the rest of the matchups. Moving on to the trade ships, demos, at least from a resource perspective, are so worth it even if you trade one for one. This mainly stems from the fact that trade ships are so expensive and fragile. It's unlikely that you'll catch multiple trade ships at once, but if you do, it's a no-brainer. Again, you're better off using other offensive ships to destroy your opponent's trade, but if you do find an idle demo lying around and you spot a trade ship or two, don't hesitate to nuke them down. Moving on to the transport ship, you'll notice that they're cheap and tanky, which is an awful combo for demo ships to detonate against. Hence, you'll realize that blowing up a demo only becomes worth it if you hit a whopping 5 or more of the enemy's transports. Now, one thing these numbers don't show is the possibility of sinking a close-by transport filled with enemy units trying to make a landing. You'll need two demos to bring down a transport ship, and even though it's an awful trade when they're empty, they'll pay their price and then some if the transport is full, especially if it's carrying expensive units. Obviously, since they are bugged now, one single demo can one-shot a transport ship in the current patch, as it'll apply 300 base damage twice to destroy it, so keep that in mind and be very careful. Alright, now let's move on to the military ships, starting with the galley. The interaction with the galley is rather straightforward. Trading a demo ship for a single hit is not the worst thing in the world, but you get your money's worth if you hit two or more galleys with one demo, which is quite realistic for you to pull off. Once again, the current bug means that demos can one-shot galleys as well, which is why they're always worth it to trade one for one in the current patch. The Rus have a unique ship of course, as they have the Logia attack ship instead. As you can see, the same demo hits apply here as the galleys, but the numbers overall are significantly lower. That said, the Rus have two upgrades to add a whopping 400 additional HP to these Logia attack ships, and this changes things a lot. It only becomes worth it if you hit four or more of them with one demo once they hit 800 HP. Obviously, it takes time and resources for those technologies to kick in, but check the Logia attack ship's HP before engaging. As a rule of thumb, try to hit three or more of them in one hit to be on the safe side. Let's move on to the infamous Hulk. You'll notice a familiar trend here. Not worth it with one hit, but definitely worth it if you can hit two or more with one demo. Do keep in mind that you'll need four demo hits to sink the Hulk, so make sure they don't have an easy way to regain their lost HP back. And of course, only two hits are required with the current bug. Alright, we're getting to the big ships now, starting with the Carrick. Despite having 400 more HP than the Hulk, you'll notice that the numbers are so much better. This is because the Carrick is classified as a warship, which means that the demo ships deal an additional 200 bonus damage against them, for a total of 500 damage. This basically means that it's pretty much worth it to even hit just one Carrick with one demo, and if you can hit multiple at the same time, you're golden. As mentioned previously, the current bug also doubles the bonus damage as well, which means demos can two-shot Carricks in the current patch, so be very careful. The French also have a unique ship called the Gallius, and once again, same idea here. Two or more hits are worth it, and one isn't. Very, very similar to the Hulk. The massive ships of Zebek with its 1700 HP and Baochuan with its 2000 HP both function very similarly to the Carrick as they're both warships as well. This means that hitting just one of them with a demo isn't the worst thing in the world, but two or more hits are definitely worth it. Hence, it doesn't really matter which warship you encounter out on the waters, if you can hit them at all, go for it, as it is a very favorable engagement for you. In fact, here's a quick summary table of what I've covered so far. Apart from warships and trade ships, trading a demo ship for just one hit is definitely not worth it and you should avoid it. However, as a rule of thumb, it is definitely worth it from a resource perspective to hit two of pretty much any ship on the water except the fishing ship, an empty transport ship, or fully upgraded Logia attack ships. Once again, in the current patch, demos are pretty much worth any engagement with the exception of fishing and transport ships. Here's a very important point though. All of those tests were conducted before researching the explosives technology. It is a relatively cheap technology for the Imperial Age and it is extremely worth it to pick up. Here's the same summary table with the base damage increased to 420. You'll realize that you'll get roughly 50 to 100% more value from your demos across the board. If you are in the Imperial Age and you are going for a few demos, researching explosives is a no-brainer. Picking up additional sales as well is a good idea overall to make it harder for your opponents to react to your demos. 
Now, I cannot recommend using demos in the current patch because they are very clearly broken, especially once they pick up the explosives technology. Hence, if you are using water, my suggestion is that you refrain from using demos as it's technically yet another bug exploit and ruins the fun for everyone else. Once they're fixed, however, you should definitely mix them in based on your opponent's composition. Regarding demos against land units, I'm not even going to bother analyzing this either as it will be worth it even with a few units hit. Think about it, a measly group of three archers dying to a demo is worth it from both a resource and production time standpoint. Using a demo to kill one single knight is the same in terms of production time and resources. Believe me, even the worst players in the game can hit at least 5 or more land units with one demo and it will always be worth it. Hence, you don't need to get a huge explosion off every time, as using demos to pick off small groups of units here and there, as long as they cost more than 240 resources collectively, is still worth it. Again, all of this is without the explosives technology. Ships overall have a very high HP, so the demo ship's 300 base damage doesn't sound too absurd on water. But as far as I know, only elephants have more than 300 HP out of all land units excluding Siege. So using demos against land units becomes a no-brainer. In short, a single demo ship can one-shot many land units, and two or three demos can one-shot anything in the game, land or water. Since hitting enemy units worth 240 resources or more is a relatively easy task with the demo's generous two-tile blast radius, be sure to take advantage of the demos to control the shorelines and the shallows. Okay, we've covered both the land and the water, but there's an important issue with the demos we need to further talk about, and that's their explosion animation and sound design. I can unequivocally say that the demos have the most underwhelming feedback to the player based on the damage they deal in the game. New players will have no idea how they lost their units in the chaos because of how pathetic the explosion animation is. First of all, the explosion flames, debris, or something else needs to properly cover the blast radius. I'm even okay with smoke. Anything to indicate that the demo ship dealt damage around the radius during the explosion. This is imperative for gameplay clarity. Second, the sound effect needs to be louder. Once again, you're dealing a massive 300 or 420 damage in one hit, and you need to hear a louder sound. For example, the charge attack damage feedback we get from the knight's lances breaking off from both the animation and sound perspective is pretty good. We can easily tell that the charge attack hit registered. Demos, on the other hand, are absolutely awful. The cherry on top for me is to have the animation and the sound also slightly change based on whether or not the demo ship has the explosive technology researched, but a man can dream. That said, I honestly think this is a quality of life change they need to make at some point to polish up the waters. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I made a semi-recreation a while back of the explosion scene in the Battle of Blackwater Bay from the Game of Thrones. So if you are interested in cinematics recreated in the AOE engine, be sure to check it out in the link in the description. Obviously, I don't expect massive explosions for gameplay clarity reasons, but a more satisfying feedback from demos would be definitely welcomed. So, do I think that demos are broken once the bugs are fixed? Well, on water, it's really tough to tell because water gameplay overall is in a mess. There are a ton of balance issues they need to iron out first before we can really debate on how the demos really fit in and whether or not they are overtuned. On land, it's far too easy to get a big demo shot, especially in maps with narrow rivers and many shallows where land units pass through. Keeps are also pathetic against them, so putting up shore defenses don't really matter much either. And that's the problem. This debate is not only demo ship related, as their ease of attacking shorelines kind of stems from how pathetic land structures such as keeps and outposts or other land units are against them. So it won't make much sense to dwell on balance until we get a few patches in and have the bugs ironed out first. Until then, we know that demos, even with their bugs fixed, are a great unit for both land and water, and you should definitely be using them until we see some significant balance changes. Well, that's pretty much all you need to know about the demos in the current patch. I hope you all had a great break and happy holidays as this was the final video of the year from Age of Noob. What a fantastic run we've had the past 12 months as we were able to hit many important milestones and improve the quality of the videos. With that said, if you enjoy this type of Age of Empires content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and make sure to thumbs up to not miss out on any future videos. As always, thanks for watching folks and here's to another great year of Age of Empires together. Take care everyone and see you all in the next one.